Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, what's up world, and welcome to the world of what's up on YouTube. Currently I'm going to be doing um, this uh, short live stream tonight, and I apologize that uh, there is some kind of a delay in setting up my, um, my live stream. So I was trying to use a uh, restream, but it didn't work out trying to like set up everything, including uh, trying to combine that with OBS. So anyways, I'm just gonna have to do it the other way. So anyways, I'm just currently using OBS SE Live. So anyways, I guess I'm going to be probably on my own tonight. Usually I have a moderator, but um, I don't know if he's going to be joining in tonight. If not, that's okay. He doesn't have to join in and moderate for us. I have already created a YouTube short video about optical calcite or known as Iceland Spar. So this is going to be our topic tonight. In case you don't hear me or if you're having some difficulty uh, either video or audio, please let me know in the chat box. I'll do the best I can to fix my uh, audio and visual. All right. Hey, welcome back, Sessions. Sessions is in the house tonight. Thank you for coming back and uh, being our moderator tonight. Anyways, this is Iceland Spar. It looks like an ice cube. And it has a shape of a rhombus. The alternative names are Rhombus calcite, clear calcite, or opt or clear optical calcite. But we're gonna call it Iceland spar. All right. Iceland spar, also known as optical calcite or rhombus calcite. As I've mentioned earlier, is a transparent variety of calcite, a natural form of calcium carbonate. Iceland spar aligns with all seven chakras. So the following are seven chakras are root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown chakras. This particular crystal is a crystal of clarity, joy, inner vision, inner peace, communication, and transformation. Iceland Spar helps in calming, clearing, cleansing, and restoring yourself, your mind, your aura, and your energy. It can be found in Iceland, Belgium, Czech Republic, Peru, Brazil, and Mexico. By the way, sources say that Iceland's bar was used by the Vikings. Did you know that? Well, because of the light polarizing ability of the Iceland spar, 
the Vikings were able to use it as a navigator, allowing them to be able to find the sun to reach their destination. Iceland's far is said to be optical, and the reason for that is because of its double and light refractions. Look closely also, see these grooves? It's got a number of um, lines. Pretty amazing. And if, if I try to flip this, this is what you're going to end up with. See? It's got parallel lines, waves. And if I try to put it on this side right here, yep. It does different, have uh, different angles as well, too. I'm trying to focus this so that way you'll be able to actually see the patterns of optical calcite or Iceland spar. On my previous live stream, I was able to discuss a little bit about Iceland spar. So finally I was able to actually get Iceland spar. So I'm glad. Yay! And I made a video about it as well, too. I've already uploaded this YouTube short video about Iceland Spar. Check it out in the description and go to um, look for the link of my crystals playlist and look for Iceland Spar or Optical Calcite. And I've also talked about in my previous broadcast about red and calcite I mean red and white calcite or red and white optical calcite yeah it kind of almost looked like transparent though this one is a little bit uh, in between tr uh, transparent and uh, translucent I, I, I think this one's like almost translucent I know it's not even transparent enough but they both look beautiful to me carry on meaning of double refractions it means that when you uh, when you actually um Place a block of uh, Iceland spar on a on a text, for instance. What's going to happen is that the word will actually appear to be double or doubled. Well, what I mean by that is that it's going to uh, yeah it's going to form into some kind of a double vision or double text. I'm going to do a little bit of demonstration here. I'm going to do the best I can to show you guys what I mean. If this would have been completely transparent, this could have been better for you guys to actually see the double refractions or light refractions. I can already see it right now. I wonder if I can zoom this. Probably not. Oh well, as I tried. It's gonna be a little bit of a silhouette or shadow. Could probably try to move the angle a little bit. This one right here is a refraction. probably turn the angle of um, the optical calcite here nice see all right you 
you get an idea? If you're going to be using this for meditation, um, I would suggest to hold this powerful crystal in the palm of your hand, or you can actually place it on your forehead or even on, your, on top of your head and connect with its amazing high vibrational energy. I... I would like to um, give you guys a little bit of a review about Iceland Spar. When I first uh, actually um, received it, it did it did actually have uh, a little bit of small fragment fragments uh, coming out. That's the problem right there, and uh, also. The packaging itself, yeah, what happened was that the seal kind of broke off. It was a disappointment, but for a little bit at first. And to tell you about the hardness of calcite, calcite has a hardness, most scale hardness of three. What's even worse is if you actually own a selenite it has a most scale of two. And I have actually um, broke one before. And the yes, selenite is slightly more fragile than Iceland spar. And this is white selenite. It's very shiny. It's kind of reflective right here. It's a li liquid light, for some experts call it. And it's very fragile. You don't want to get or drop it in on the ground or, yeah, which is not a great idea. Other than that, in my personal opinion, this is, this has a, a very high vibrational energy on this one. I would definitely recommend this uh, crystal. But you have to charge it. I would advise to charge it um, in the sun or in on the moonlight. And you can also uh, smudge it with sage or even charge it on a selenite or inside the, uh, the copper pyramid to charge it overnight. And I do have um, resonance with both of these, and these are my favorite uh, types of uh, varieties of calcite. Even orange uh, calcite with black tourmaline that I have uh, also discussed uh, on my previous broadcast. Definitely, this is something that I would recommend to everyone to own Iceland Spar or optical calcite. I have already uh, put in uh, the links in the description box as well as in the chat box about my crystal shorts as well as um, one of the uh, project products that I'm going to be or 
one of the crystals that I'm going to be featuring tonight. And it's going to be very short uh, discussion. I'm going to keep it as short as I can. So if, in case you have any questions in regards to the Iceland Spar, you can leave a comment uh, in the comment section once uh, this broadcast is over. Or you can also put in uh, in the chat box while we're still live. If in case you have any questions about any crystals that are being featured in this live broadcast tonight. All right. We're going to start talking about this interesting crystal, and I cannot confirm whether or not this is Star Ruby Corundum Crystal. Ruby has a Mohs scale hardness of 9, and it's part of the Corundum family. Sapphire is one of them as well, too. It's, well, Sapphire is also a, uh, a Corundum, or part of a Corundum family. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to do some kind of a demonstration right now. I'm going to be using a UV flashlight on its surface. Watch. All right, I'm going to probably need to see if I can close the light. Hmm. Okay, there you go. I can see a little bit of a pink to it. There you go. There you are. Woohoo. Oops. Pardon my grip. Okay, here it is. That is so cool. I mean, I could do better than that, though. All right, maybe I could probably try to go further than that. There you are. Ooh. Isn't this amazing? Cool. Look closely. That is so cool. Whoa. Huh. Nice. Hmm. I'm going to try to adjust this, um, this camera. I'm going to try it again. See, it changes colors to, like, pinkish red. That is super cool, guys and gals. That is amazing. All right. Now it's going to go back to its regular color right here. See? Hmm. Interesting. I'm currently looking at energymuse.com and I've searched a uh, star corundum crystal but uh, the best way to do it actually is to actually look it up on Google and type in uh, star ruby corundum energy muse in the Google search box and the reason why I had to do it that way is because I've just learned that this item is currently out of stock. I'm not sure if this was this product was actually um, purchased at Energy Muse. 
I think my husband purchased this before. So he could have probably purchased it at um, Energy Muse at the time. So currently uh, this crystal is out of stock. Anyway. And it says, according to the page that I'm looking at right now, the reason for its fluorescent uh, glow is it has to do with the particular chemical compositions. It might be a high concentration of calcite or fluorescent feldspar, according to the page that I'm looking at right now. So, that's probably the reason why it changes colors from this particular color right here. It's kind of like almost like a uh, darkish purple. It's like pinkish red. Just amazing. What if I try to do it this way? Mm, nope. Could be better if I try to do it this way. Okay, oh, much better now. Sweet. All right. Okay. So we're going to do some kind of a chit chat for a little bit uh, before my laptop's battery is going to be out. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys a, a little bit of an announcement or some announcements tonight. So my uh, Iceland Spar shorts video has over 200 views from the time that I actually um, uploaded it uh, Sunday afternoon. I started to have more views. So on the other hand, uh, my uh, Tiger's Eye uh, shorts crystal, it didn't pick up properly. Be probably it's be because I uh, actually uh, uploaded that short uh, video at a wrong time and at the wrong day. I believe I actually did it on a Thursday afternoon, like around, like close to 6 p.m. Pacific time. And that really messed up my analytics as well as algorithms. And the video wasn't that great. And plus, the problem was I had a problem with uh, ti uh, Tiger's Eye. I didn't have enough uh, Tiger's Eye crystals that are better. But it's okay. I've learned my lesson on that. And uh, But anyways, I'm learning a lot that uh, mostly Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays are pretty much uh, busy to actually, uh, uh, actually upload videos and get more views. So, but finally, at least my um, Iceland uh, spar crystals have a lot of views, and thank goodness for that. But other than that, I could probably uh, talk about other crystals. I could probably um, create a short video about star ruby corundum. And by the way, this one, this Iceland Spar Optical Calcite Crystal, uh, it was actually purchased by my husband on Amazon, and I almost forgot to tell you about that. Uh, and uh, I could probably uh, put down the link in the description box when we're done broadcasting. 
So that way you'll be able to actually um, check out that this particular product. And if you want to purchase this, just go ahead and purchase it if you're interested. And as a disclaimer, I have no affiliation on any of the companies that I um, and products that I am discussing on this video. So I'm not getting paid to pay uh, or uh, I'm not getting paid for this video either. So I'm just here to educate you guys and uh, and share uh, my um, experience and reviews and to educate you guys about Iceland Spar Optical Calcite Crystal as well. Some other crystals that I am featuring tonight in this live broadcast well anyways I am probably gonna be um, using um, restream as well too but it's only gonna go up to 720p uh, 30 frames per second which is not gonna be cool but at least with this particular streaming service or um, I should say like a kind of like a it's a new um, technology where I'm able to actually like stream uh, uh, different platforms at the same time and uh, as well as share my screen and even do a picture in picture screen to you guys and I'm able to actually like invite uh, guests as well on the live stream too which is super cool it's a super cool uh, technology um, it's free for everyone but uh, there's also a paid plan as well too and uh, it'll also increase your chances also of having uh, better streams as well too so other than that uh, if you'd like to learn more about Restream go to Google and search Re that's R-E and stream so that's Restream.io other than that, uh, that's all the time I have right now. This is going to be, as I said, this is going to be a short live broadcast. And uh, this is going to uh, also turn into a live replay uh, podcast as well, too. Anyways, if you'd like to support my YouTube channel, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my YouTube channel at the World of What's Up on YouTube. Be sure to hit the smash uh, the subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications for more upcoming videos. Thank you so much, Sessions, for being my moderator tonight. I know this is a short live podcast plus the technical issue well anyways until next time stay tuned for more videos and other than that you can also follow me on twitter at the world of wu and also follow me on pinterest at the world of what's up other than that, thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.